Yulia. I'm Yulia and I'm your virtual beauty therapist. I have been on for over 11 years. So skincare is my passion, it is my job and I do hope you enjoy this channel. Now the video today is about Pantanal as you probably already know. The reason why I decided to do this video is because sure there's a lot of very hyped ingredients like hyaluronic acid, like Pantella, one is hydrating, the other one is soothing. But actually, ingredient like Pantanal has so many different benefits and in fact, very likely it is part of a lot of your skincare, but you maybe don't know a lot about it or you didn't really pay attention to it. So this video is about this ingredient because I want you to know what is inside the product. So I've been doing beauty for quite a while now and the purpose of this channel is not just to review different products and give you different tips but also my point is that i want you to be indeed healthy and informed about beauty and that means to know what is into your product so ingredients formulation concentration it all really makes your product in order to understand what benefits can give us an ingredient i think it's important to know what exactly is so what is Pantanol? It is called also B5. Technically, it's not B5 or pantothenic acid. It is a precursor, which means that once when it is applied onto the skin, our body very easily transforms it into vitamin B5. Into skincare, it comes in two different forms. One is a D-Pantanol, which is a very viscous type of liquid. It has no color, it has no scent. It has a very, I mean, it's a very thick type of liquid. And the other form comes into salt. So it's a white crystal powder. Both of them are actually water soluble. And as ingredients, actually, Pantanol works very well with others. So while people say that Pantanol is for dry and flaky skin, depending on its concentration and the different of differences in the formula, it can be literally put into every single step into your skincare and it is not irritating. So you will find it into up to around 5%. I'll say I haven't seen it with higher percentage than this and it has plenty of benefits. Very likely what you are most curious about are the benefits with regards to Pantanol. So first, it is a humectant. Just like the hyaluronic acid that we love so much, it is capable of retaining water molecules around itself, so into the skin. Humectants are amazing for all skin types. You want your skin to be with plenty of water. It gives you a supple look. So it's not just related with dryness, but even if your skin is oily, you still want to have plenty of moisture within the skin. The second benefit is the fact that it is amazing barrier care. It is strengthening the barrier and therefore it is capable of retaining again more moisture within the skin. So we are looking into transepidermal water loss. There's a few different studies. I'll list different studies into the description box so I don't have to talk about all of them. Obviously, I did my best to do my research. So if you're curious, just like I was, and you want to check out about different studies and scientific evidence about what I am talking about, you can check out in the description box so that I don't bore you with all of them. But for example, uh, scientists decided to try different solutions. Some of them were 0.5% Pantanol, 1% Pantanol, and 5% Pantanol. And they checked about the transepidermal water loss. They saw that even if you use something like a hand wash with SLES, which is quite dry surfactant, after two um, hours, you can already see the difference into the reduced trust epidermal loss compared to people who didn't use anything with Pantanol. For the skin on the face as well, there's different studies that are showing that this ingredient is capable of giving you better barrier. So the better barrier from one point is yes, more water will be within the skin, but also it's less likely any kind of irritation to affect your skin and sensitize it further. So if you are living in harsh climate, whether you are worried about pollution, uh, whether you worry about air conditioning because it's the summer and it dries out, 
the skin a lot or even in the, in the winter from the heating Pantanol is a great ingredient because it is able to strengthen the skin per year therefore with your actives it's always great to use so whether say you're using something like retinol you're using vitamin a it is extremely effective but very likely it is very drying as well so in order to reduce any kind of irritation after you use your actives you can apply say moisturizer with pantanol or if you want you can use the sandwich technique so you apply moisturizer with pantanol then you apply your actives and then again pantanol <laughs> moisturizer on the top and that way you will have great skin per year and it is much less likely to have the dry flaky type of skin so you can see pantanol not just into skincare which is for sensitive and dry skin but literally into almost every skincare that you can think about another quite important benefit from the use of pantanol is the fact that it looks like it has quite good wood healing abilities so when your skin barrier has been impacted, say whether after some kind of surgical invasion, whether from um, laser, chemical peels, whether you have tattoos. Now, I remember when I was a child, when I go to the beach or if I get very red from something, my GP would give me a spray which was just pantanol in high concentration. And that's something that I literally grew up with and I didn't realize how good it is. Later in my life, I had a tattoo in Eastern Europe. I had another tattoo here. And in both cases, B Pantene, which is very high concentration pantanol ointment that is available here in Europe, was what my tattoo artist told me to use afterwards in order to speed up the healing, reduce any, any sort of irritation afterwards. And reduce the risk of any sort of inflammation and redness. So that's something that whether you're looking into simple uh, redness from sunburn, whether we are talking about some kind of mild cuts and bruises, might be able to actually help and reduce the risk of any kind of sensitivity. As you might guess, the fact that we have better skin barrier and better healing will be great if your skin is a topic. So you will see Pantanol into various skincare products, including skincare products for children and a skincare products which are for different conditions such as atopic dermatitis or eczema. So once again, we do have studies which are proving that Pantanol can be quite beneficial. It is emollient. So it means that, you know, when you have, say, a moisturizer, or a serum that once when you apply onto the skin it actually makes it very smooth and very soft not necessarily super rich moisturizer can do this maybe it's a lotion maybe it's a, just a serum so these are the emollients into the product they soften the edges of the skin cells and that's why this gliding feels very pleasant onto the skin so these are your emollients and yes pantanol is one of them the fact that your skin is very smooth and soft means that your makeup will also work much better that's why you will see it actually you will see it into hair care as well because it is capable of protecting the hair shaft and strengthening the hair as well as the skin you will see it into body care nail polishes even because it has so many different benefits but with that being said i want to talk about the things that we don't have scientific proof but you will see different plants about Pantanol that is doing some kind of magical thing. I saw a lot of different clients which are saying don't use Pantanol, don't use it in high concentration or for long periods of time because it is comedogenic. Now, first and foremost, comedogenic scales are invented in the 70s. They are not real scientific term. So that's that. And then the thing is that we don't have scientific evidence that Pantanol is for clogging. If you have troubles and breakout, it is very likely because you take a formula with very rich um, emollients inside with something that is too heavy for your skin. But Pantanol itself is not something that will cause breakouts. People are saying that it works for pigmentation. So 
if you have better behavior and less inflammation, say after your breakouts, they will heal quicker. But that does not mean that there is something into the Panthenol which is affecting the production of melanin. So better barrier technically is something that can improve the healing of the skin and therefore less mark after you have acne. But it is not really something that could work say for melasma or for generally uneven skin tone. Then uh, I saw that there's uh, some people which are saying that Panthenol help them heal their, their acne after two weeks. Now, if they use very aggressive actives, it might improve it. But once again, Pantanol is not something that is capable of affecting, say, the acne-causing bacteria. Um, less uh, irritation and less inflammation <laughs> means that, yes, your skin might have less breakouts, your skin might heal quicker, but it is not something that will affect the acne itself. Stimulating the growth of the fibroblast and more production of collagen for type 4 is something that we have studies about with regards to Pantanol use, but it is mainly related to the wound, wound healing, and we don't know for sure how much it is boosting the collagen production when your skin is completely healthy and absolutely fine. So about that one, it's more like no for now. I can't really finish the video without giving you a few ideas about skincare products that you can use. So let's start with the most fun general of them all. This is Sun By Me and this is the newest line. So this is Beta Pantanol. This is the moisturizer. They do have a few different products like a serum and a toner, part of this line. I haven't tried it, but I have tried this one. And this contains 5% of the Pantanol. Along with it, you will see beta cytosterols, which is 0.5% here. There's a lot of great ingredients which are for the barrier hair, like spalane and different oils like jojoba. But also here you have very interesting plant ingredients. You have rose water, you have bananas even. You have 11 different types of peptides, including copper peptides. And while the product looks quite rich when you have a look on it, actually it doesn't feel very rich onto the skin it feels very soft very gliding and while i do think it is more for dry skin if your skin is oily or a combination if you're using actives maybe you can apply it just for areas that you feel like your skin is quite dry for instance in my case it is around my eyes it will be my smile lines around the mouth sometimes even the chin so these are the areas that you can apply something like this in order to reduce any kind of irritation also this product has no alcohol essential oils or added fragrance so it is amazing for repair of the skin barrier the second suggestion is this one so this is papa recipe and it is their blemish cream bear in mind that blemishes for us usually are related to acne blemishes for asian skincare usually means anything that will make your skin imperfect so this product yes the base of it are 16 percent the lactomyces fermented extract here there's also a lot of different other fermented extracts like acerola even wasabi but also here you actually do have pantanol and it is quite high into the ingredient list in fact it is after the glycerin so this is also another very nice option and i have to say that this is 100 milliliters of cream so the tube is quite large and it will work for you for quite a while as i mentioned pantanol is not ingredient which is, which is just for dry and flaky skin this is balanceful from thoridin this line is specifically made for oily combination and sensitive skin and this is their lotion it is 210 milliliters it will last you for ages you have their 5d sika complex you have here chamomile and yes you have pantanol and alantoin it has a very pleasant light texture apply onto the skin it feels nice and slippery but in the same time the finish is a bit like a wet look yes amazing great choice for oily and combination skin even in the warm summer last but definitely not least is bar this is their centella ampoule toner this is 200 milliliters of viscosy type of toner it has 80 percent centella asiatica and 0.5 percent pantanol it has also adenosine, cutunia cordata, jojoba seed oil it is very 
oily skin friendly because while it has a bit of texture, it actually absorbs really nicely. That's reminds me of the Eclairs there, unscented supple preparation, which I love and it's very moisturizing. But this is not just moisturizing, it is also soothing. So it feels very nice onto the skin and it is one of my favorite toners for sure. A very sensitive skin friendly type of product and the brand itself, I have to be honest. If vitamin B5 into your skincare got you excited, just to let you know, it can be part of your diet too. There's plenty of different foods that contain it, like uh, algae, like seafood, like potatoes, avocados as well. So you can add it into your diet if you want to as well. I hope you enjoyed this channel. I hope I give you enough information about this ingredient and you consider subscribing to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up share it and comment below and don't forget that next week i will talk about alantoin which is another extremely beneficial ingredient that i do think we very often don't pay that much attention to but it's great for our skin find me and follow me in social media in instagram and tiktok for much more beauty content i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next week bye bye